What's up guys? Another review. Last but not least of the seekers that I'm gonna review, at least for now. Well, at least of the generations in the classic sign. Thundercracker. Uh one of my favorite characters. Uh I don't like Starscream. Starscream's alright, he's an interesting character, but uh almost like Bumblebee is now in the movies. Bumblebee's annoying. But Starscream not not as uh everyone loves Starscreams. Even if you hate him, you still love him. Like, I like Starscream, I hate him, but I love him, but I want to see him killed off. Bumblebee, I want to see killed off. But then you got Thundercracker, who is like, you know, of the three Seekers, probably the strongest, and I think the smartest, I think, too. By, uh, eight. I think Skywalker's the dumbest for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know how they do that. Anyway, but, uh, one of my favorite guys, you know, nice silver, blue, red, uh, great homage to the original, great character. Great toy, great uh, great quality. Good job, Hasbro. You gave us what we wanted. We got the Seekers. You know, you gave us Seekers. We got Seekers. Um, you know what's next? Well, close up first, then transform. Okay, so Thundercracker. Again, he's got the Decepticon symbol on the chest, just like a dirge had it. Um, nice silver paint on the face. You see all the detail. Uh, head detail. It's got that black gloss paint, so you lose a little bit of it. But you can, yeah, you can tell. Hold on, an angle or something. Let me see. Yeah, those are focuses in there. There you go. Uh, nice silver. You got. The, I like those those red uh, arrow uh, apps they put on there. I'm surprised they didn't put on the other guys, unless they didn't notice it. But uh, they didn't, they went the extra mile on this guy. Not that it was a lot. It wasn't maybe like a half a mile more, but they did give this guy some great details. Uh, they did a. Uh, Make a nice homage to him, to his G1 uh, counterpart, and uh, even with the with the red and white stripes on the wings there, which uh, you'll see in a, when I put him in jet mode, they did that. Back of him mostly blue, and uh, so he's about to fall over. Why is he standing like that? You know, but uh, this one uh, closest paint job to the G1 that we got, because the other ones have the updated classics paint job or updated, you know. Not updated, uh, nouveau, you know, style, I guess you could call it, whatever. Modern style, modernized it. But uh, this one really, uh, of, of all of them, is my favorite because he looks more like the G1, you know, version. Or the G1 cartoon version, so. But no, they did a good job on all of them. I'm glad we got all of them. They're all different in their own way, so. It's not like, it's just, it's just they didn't say, hey, let's just stamp on the same stripes on all of them, just cut, uh, Two different colors, but they did a good job, and uh, yeah, they did a great job on Thundercracker. So, you don't have this guy, get him. Um, you know what? I got the masterpiece Thundercracker upstairs, I should review him soon, too. You know what? I might bring him down. Yeah, maybe we'll see him next week. I'll review him, but for now, this is the uh, last of the classic seekers I'm reviewing because that's the last of the classic seekers I have. I didn't, I never bought Acid Storm, but uh. That's all. Starscream, Skywar, Thundercracker, Dirge, Ramjet, and Thrust. Here is Thundercracker. Okay, now it's time to transform into his jet mode, so let's go check that out. Alright guys, there's Classics, no wait, Generations, Thundercracker, and uh, of all the figures, he has the same uh, paint stripes, uh, paint apps as the original toy, or at least in that order, you know. Nothing look fancy here or there. It's actually the way it should look. So they kept it in. Uh, I kept it. They kept it nostalgic like that. And this guy came out almost. Wow, I'm gonna say six or seven years after classics. Because he was part of generations. Um, what is it? I'm gonna say 2013 or so. He came out. 2012, 2013. The first wave came out 2007, so five, six years after we got uh, Thundercracker. And uh, then we got Thrust too, so. I mean, we did get them all, so that's good, I'm glad. You know, like, like the others would turn them over. Black, blue, and silver there, nice details. Yeah. Rare thrusters. All the jets look cool, all the jets look great. Uh, I got most, well, I didn't get, uh, what was that, that green one, Acid Storm, because I don't really need them. Now, if we would have gotten a sunstorm in this size, it would have been great. 
Acid Storm was just like they were just bastardizing the mold at that point. But yeah, Generation Thundercracker, Classic Thundercracker, whatever you want to call it. You know, here he is, jet mode, sleek, great design. No rub on, no rub symbol. But if you do get one, I'm telling everyone, put it right there, it looks better. Um, but yeah, there you go. There's a, the last of the three original Starscream Skywarp Thundercracker. Next week we got Thrust Sturge and Ramjet, but uh, for now here's uh, these three. Anyway, here's Thundercracker in his jet mode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm Mike Ruthless. I'm out. Cold. Well, not out cold, but I'm out. I'll see you guys next week. Hope you enjoy this review.